Hi y'all, Kraken Latte here. It's that time of the month again where we take a look at what we can buy with Trader's Tender. Mounts, pets, and mod galore because this is what's up with the trading post. Alright, it is now officially the second month ever of the trading post. Woo! More transmog and stuff. Here we go. We are now in March. So we are going to look at March 2023's stock. Alright, so the trading post. We are starting with, ignore this one here, that is a frozen item that I have from last month. <laughs> but we have the Ensemble Fell Automaton Exoplate. So it looks like this is a plate specific, unfortunately, but still cool ensemble that looks to be a recolor from one of the Warlords of Draenor raiding sets. I believe it comes out of uh, High Mall or something. So this is pretty cool looking. I like that it's like fell and blue, but it still keeps the gold aspects. So that's pretty neat. That is an option we have for a whopping 850 uh, points there. That's going to be a bit expensive, but... Hey, lot of, lots of expensive stuff. It's up to you if it's worth it. The next one we have is the trusty treasure trove. This appears to be a back piece. It says gold can't buy happiness, but it can buy back pain, apparently. <laughs> Another very expensive back piece. Um, but it looked, this is very unique. I, we've, we've had backpacks and stuff, but we've never had just a straight up treasure chest and it's actually very 3d you can see they've got a little crown we've got pearls hanging out we've got gems and such sticking up it's got glowies that's pretty neat so if you're like a hardcore treasure hunter pirate type of character any sort of rogue that might be into this that's pretty cool so that's a neat that's a neat back piece there next we have another ensemble this is for male wearers hunter shaman and evoker unfortunately only male. Another expensive one that's just, that is class specific. So, um, this is pretty cool. So we've got the Glorious Dragon Riders male. A very, very cool looking recolor from, I believe, Battle for Azeroth. This is a recolor of one of the sets that comes from the islands, I believe. Because there's a green set. Which, that set has tattoos on it, so I'm unsure if the tattoos here that should go over my chest and back are just not working because I believe they would be red. I think I've seen this in another picture. But it, the model might just be bugged here a little bit. Next we have a pet, the Pandaren Monk. This was previously a store pet and it has since been moved to the trading post. So if you want to get yourself a teeny tiny low res old school little Pandaren Monk as a pet, a battle pet, um, here you go. <laughs> it's even got a little little bottle of something there to drink, which is pretty cute. So that is available for you. I'm not sure how much it is since I do already have it and it does not show me the price, but I imagine it's probably pretty expensive as well. Next we have the Frozen Shadow. This, I believe, is a recolor from some Wrath weapons, if I'm remembering correctly. And look how dark and spooky that is. This is pretty awesome. I like this. Even if it's you know, not a recolor, and it's like actually a new weapon. This is, this is really cool. I like how this looks. I like the darkness that's around it there. So Frozen Shadow, 400. A little spendy, but not too shabby. Next, we have the Filigreed Lion's Maw. This is the shield everyone's been talking about. I saw this. Put my armor back on so I'm not so naked. <laughs> ah, it kind of hides it. There. So yeah, look at this beaut. A 3D asset Lion's Maw, very Alliance-themed shield. And it looks like the head moves. Is the head moving? Watch that for a second. Yeah, it is! It's kind of like, nah, 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 nah. That's pretty cool! This is a very neat shield. It's only 250, so not nearly as expensive as some of the above stuff. That is a very nice shield. I'm absolutely going to get that one. Now we have the Triumphant Blademaster's Great Sword. So this is a very kind of... It says Blade Master, but like the... Uh, Burning Blade, or whatever they're called, uh, Orcs. It looks very similar to their style. Hence, it's probably why it's a... Uh... Oh, here, there it is! It says in the tooltip, the Blade Masters of the Burning Blade are rarely bested while a sword remains in their hands. There you go, the Burning Blade. So that is exactly what this sword is. Looks like we've got two different colors. So we've got a darker version with the purple, 
and a lighter version with the reddish color. So those are both 225. Those are pretty good looking. And it looks like they're both two-handed swords. So any class that can use two-handed swords, that's what we got here. Now we have the Dread Admiral's Bicorn, which is a pirate hat. We've had uh, quite a few pirate hats in game, but this one looks a lot higher res than some of them. And not as goofy. I do wish we could have our hair under the hat, but hey, I'll take it. This looks pretty neat. I like it. That's it. That's it. That would go great, actually, with the, uh, the treasure trove here. Putting both of those on. Yep. Top tier pirate. Alright, next we've got another ensemble, except this is a similar to last month. We have a neat high-res hood and a tattered cloak. These are two separate pieces. The Vagabond's Midnight Threads. Last month, these were pink. And it looks like the Wanderer's Midnight Trappings, which is similar, but with a fully fleshed cloak and a scarf version. So last month, these were also available, but they were in a different color. They were pink, and now they are kind of a midnight to grayish blue. So that's very cool. And again, these are definitely two different pieces. I have the previous month's version, and they can be modded separately, which is very cool. And they're cosmetic. So this neck piece... And this hood can go in any class. And I really, really appreciate that. Next, we've got the Gnomish Liquid Transfer Apparatus. All right, appears to be a offhand. That is a bucket. There you go, it's a bucket. It's an offhand that's a bucket. <laughs> Gnomish Ingenuity doesn't usually reinvent the wheel, but this isn't the first time it has reinvented the bucket. I love those little tooltips on some of these. It just is pretty humorous to me. All right. So that is that. It's, it's a bucket. <laughs> Anyone that can use an offhand, that's what you got. Now we have a cosmetic shirt. So this is the flashy, fabulously flashy finery. And a shirt, in case you're not sure what that is, is not a chess piece necessarily, but it is, it is its own shirt slot. So this is, this can be worn by itself, if you transmog uh, your chess piece invisible, or just, you know, underneath a chess piece. So it looks like this is a nice, kind of slightly higher res version of, uh, actually I think it's a little more unique, but it's a nice shirt. So if you wanted a fine shirt, there you go. It says, says uh, this Alexander McQueen design was all the rage at Dollar on Fashion Week. And apparently that's a thing, I love that. And we have another cloak. Great Cloak of the Virtuous Protector. And I recognize this one. This looks to be either a recolor or a very slight redesign of some paladin cloak, I believe, from Legion? It looks like a paladin cloak. This is what it is. my brain is telling me. So it might be a recolor. It might be a slight readjustment of one of those from Legion. Either way, this is a really cool color. I like the red scaling at the bottom. So that is what we have off the trading post specifically here. Now let's take a moment to look at what the monthly reward is. It looks like we have an ensemble. Ooh, ensemble for March. And this is this reward at the end here, just like last month. If you complete the full thing, you get all 1000 points. By the end of the month, you will get all of your stuff. So that is pretty awesome. So this here is a full-on jester outfit. And it's Darkmoon themed, apparently. And look at these eyeballs on it. And, oh, these, like... I don't know that I'll ever mog as a jester necessarily, but individually, these pieces look fantastic. I really like the boots. That belt is to die for. Those shoulders are great. I mean, literally every aspect of this is awesome. So that is the reward for March. If you're new to the trading post and want those goodies I just showcased, let's look at what to do. First up, there are two waves of Trader's Tender, the currency used here, with 1,000 total that you can earn each month. Unspent tender will roll over into the next month as well. You will earn your first 500 tender free just by logging in that month on an actively subbed account that's in good standing. The second 500 comes from a myriad of activities that you complete found in your adventure journal in the Traveler's Log tab. More on this in a moment. 
The trading post itself is located in the Mage District of Stormwind and the Valley of Strength in Argamar. This is where you'll loot all of your currency from the nearby chest and view and purchase from the vendor. The trading post's inventory changes on the first of every month and will include a wide range of goodies both old and new. Previously retired mounts, recolors of transmog never put in game, and new items entirely are just some of the things we can see listed. Don't worry about missing out though, items that rotate out of stock will eventually rotate back in, so there's no fear of missing out. In your journal, you'll see a progress bar that wants you to collect 1000 points. This is both how you gain the other 500 traders tender, and earn that month's special reward for doing so. To get these points, you need to complete activities listed here in your journal over the course of the month. These activities have a wide range of variety for different forms of gameplay. Much of these will be things you're already doing, so if you prefer a passive approach, you can do so. There are also some more specific tasks you can do that change each month based on upcoming holidays and events. Either way, make sure to familiarize yourself with these activities on the off chance how you normally play will not earn you enough. This entire thing is also completely account-wide, meaning both progress on your points bar and progress on individual activities should count if you swap alts. Doing so could even benefit you as there are some activities that could be done easier on those alts. The 50 dungeon bosses and 30 quests are an example of this. Most current expansion quests and world quests will count for the quest activity. And current expansion dungeons of any difficulty will count for the dungeon activity. But, Legacy Quests and Legacy Dungeons will not count if you are max level. Lower level alts can help with these if you want to do those two activities specifically. Legacy Raids, however, will count for the 25 Raid Boss activity because if you notice in the tooltip, it does not have a stipulation like the 50 Dungeon Bosses one does. The Quests one doesn't specify, however, so this is why I wanted to make that clarification. Each of the activities in the Traveler's Log are categorized neatly and even trackable like quests and achievements by shift clicking in the chosen task. Doing this can help you keep an eye on your progress. Since there is so much here available with such a wide range of activities and you only need 1000 points, you could easily complete this bar in a day or two if you preferred rather than spreading out over the full month. These activities are meant to be simple as a secondary fun thing to do to reward you just for doing what you love to do anyways. Either way, once you complete the progress bar, you will have earned your extra 500 traders tender and that month's special reward. Come back to the trading post and loot both of these from the nearby chest to receive them. Now with all of your currency in hand, you can buy whatever you want, but you will notice you can't afford everything, so choose wisely. You can also freeze a specific item you want for the next month so that you can save up for it. And as a reminder, any unspent trader's tender will roll over to the next month. Did you know I stream on Twitch now? I do everything from transmog to leveling to gold making, and I'm live five days a week to chat with. So come hang out. And there we have it. If you think I've misinformation or you want to request I do a specific guide, let me know in the comments below. Even if I don't answer you, I just might add your idea to my list. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember, it's never too latte.